Hello, Lucas here again with another review of a great new product, which is a waste holder. So a waste holder basically contains of two items, which is um, the holder itself. You get this around your uh, waist, that's why it's called this way. And you have a nice plate, which gets uh, under your camera. So maybe you saw this design, particular design before. Um, this was originally made by a company called Spider, which uh, sell these uh, waste holders also. And, uh, Spider is a nice uh, nice company, it makes great products, but it's really expensive. Uh, something like this set would cost 100 bucks, 100 euros at least. Uh, I think it's maybe a bit more in dollars, I don't know. Um, yet, this is a Chinese design, which uh, is uh, actually like the same. I mean, it's uh, it works the same. Um, it's pretty good and it's pretty cheap. It's around 40 bucks in dollars. I think it's around 30 euros, which is uh, pretty good. And um, yeah, what do you need these for? Um, that's pretty easy. Um, maybe many people of you uh, use these neck straps, which come with the camera. And I actually, I don't like them. I really hate them. I hate it to have this on inside my neck and uh, I don't find it uh, quite comfortable. And um, yeah, I never attach them to the camera. Also, they look ridiculous. And uh, these little things is you make this around your waist and then you hang it the camera in here and then it hangs uh, inside your lap and uh, this sounds not too convincing yet I find it really cool because you have free hands and you can do this uh, really quickly so sorry I have to show you this while I sit because I cannot record this while standing and have a enough wide angle in my room yet um, the system is pretty easy you have this little knob this little uh, spike which just gets in here and then it's locked you cannot get it out before you get this little handle up. You have to put this up and then you can get this out. Um, works like a charm, it gets really quite fast in and you can get it out easily. One, not the cool thing is you cannot get it with one head out, yet um, it's safe. So uh, this is a pretty good factor. So I would like it better safe than, uh, better safe than sorry. So on this plate, uh, you have three holes where you can get this knob to. You can get it here, here or here. Uh, also, you can uh, you could um, attach this plate different. You can uh, just twist it around. This is the common way to use it. Uh, on my camera, as it's not that big, uh, I like it this way. Yet you could uh, turn it around. These two holes uh, cannot be used for this knob. These two holes are uh, quarter inch, um, quarter inch uh, threads. These are uh, metrical uh, threads, I guess. Uh, so this knob won't fit here. But uh, that's another cool thing about these two guys. So um, many of you may have concerns because you cannot get this camera now flat on the ground. And I understand what you mean by this. This is not that cool. Uh, other people may say that you cannot use this uh, with a tripod or with your rig. And this is where I say, no, it isn't true. I have this nice little plate here. This is an Arca Swiss compatible plate for my uh, little Joby head. But uh, depending on, your, on the size of your uh, tripod plate, this is... Uh, would fit anyway because you have pretty much room here you can see so I attached this here and now um, it doesn't make it much bigger not much heavier and I still can now use this camera with my rig or with my tripod it's not a problem at all and uh, yeah that's pretty cool I can use this plate anyway I don't have to detach it retach it um, I just can stick with two plates always uh, enabled so I don't have to change these all the day. And this is a pretty cool thing because um, otherwise I wouldn't take it with me uh, when I go outside. So the holder itself contains of this big metal part with the little handle. Um, you could, if you really wanted to, you could detach it and put it to your belt of your normal pants. I would not do it, but uh, you could if you wanted to. Then you have... Um, you can uh, make it bigger or smaller, this belt, by this is with, with Velcro. Uh, fits very good, it makes some noises now, yet uh, if you wear it, you won't hear the bees uh, anyway. So, um, and it will fit very small people and it will fit people who are like me a bit, uh, a bit, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, anyway, um, the, the lock is pretty cool, you can just stick it in and get it uh, open again, it's very uh, easy, yet you have um, a lock here, so if you get this lock locked, you cannot uh, accidentally open this again, and this is really cool because uh, it makes this whole thing really safe. 
So what I really like about the system is that it's very durable and that it is um, pretty safe because you have um, this lock. So it doesn't, you don't have to be afraid that uh, it accidentally opens. And also this system is, uh, you cannot get it on top out, I showed you that, and it's really durable. You cannot simply get it out. And this is pretty cool because, um, yeah, I wouldn't be, feel comfortable using this if it wasn't, but uh, I tested it like this and yeah, pretty cool thing. So maybe some of you are a bit concerned if this setup will hold the cam because I have a very small cam and my lenses are not too heavy usually and maybe you have a bigger cam like the 5D Mark II or Mark III or you have a big Nikon or something else and um, yeah. Uh, I can understand that, that you are concerned about that. Actually I tested this waist holder with this kind of setup. This is a 300mm lens, a really old one, it's really heavy as you might uh, think about this size lens and um, I tried it with the waist holder and it works like a charm. It is um, not very uncomfortable on the waist but I thought at the first time I thought it was it would rush down or it wouldn't um, uh, be comfortable to wear this like this uh, but actually I like uh, it to don't have it on the neck which is also not that good for your neck and I like it to have my hands um, free and even with this setup it works like a charm and uh, yeah I think uh, this uh, wouldn't even work with a 5D in the kit lens. So some days ago I was on the outside and I wanted to know if I can run with this thing, if I can jump with it a bit and if I can just live my life like always with this thing attached to my waist and uh, yeah, let's see how it turned out. So now I have to uh, thank my buddy Timo who helped me uh, shooting this little video uh, on the last weekend. Yet, um, as you can see, uh, I could run with it without a problem. I could jump just a little bit with it and it's really handy. What I have to tell you about the, the shooting of this little film is that uh, my friend Timo uh, ran around with my GH2 and my camera rig, which is pretty heavy somehow, at least with uh, the counter white on it something. And we were searching for some good locations and some good spots to film this. And uh, it was really cool because he had always to carry this heavy rig and I could always have hands free with the camera attached to my waist holder. This is really cool. Uh, of course, this is more something for uh, people who do photography. It's not so much for videographers, yet um, when you're on the side of you uh, just want to walk around a bit and uh, to make some photos, it's really nice to have uh, your hands clean. Don't have always something around your neck or on your back. So um, this is quick and easy because you can really quickly get your camera into your hands and yeah, I like this really much and it's, at this price point it's really a thing to think about. So let's get some things straight again. Uh, you have the ability to use this thing again with your tripod uh, plate, which is pretty cool because not every um, waist holder you get outside will give you this ability to use this properly with, uh, with a good base. Um, it's really cheap, it's around $40, I think $37 or something like this, uh, around 30 euros if you are from Europe or from a uh, country which uses the euro. It's very durable, it works great. Um, I put the link into the description. As always I would recommend buying it from this seller because then you can be sure that your product will arrive uh, in time uh, and properly and that is not garbage that you buy. I really trust the seller, I like him a lot. Next guy will support you uh, much more than he should do maybe. <laughs> Sometimes I think he wastes so much time with me but yeah. Nice guy. Again. Yeah, um, I really like this product a lot. It's the spider design, the waist holder, works like a charm. 
Um, I will use it a lot in future, I guess. At least when I go to the outside in my free time, I'm a videographer in my, uh, my professional life, but um, if you're a photographer, think about this. It's a great design, it's cheap and um, yeah. So yeah, I think this is everything I have to say about this product. At least I don't know which what I can say also about it. Um, if you have questions, if you have comments, just post them in the comments or write me an email or whatever. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye!